真 pray. Oh,真 pray. Good morning and praise the Lord. It's a very beautiful morning. The, the 13th of September, the year is 2022. We bless the Lord for this day that he has made for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. It's a, uh, uh, you know, a joy to come back to you online once again this morning with our morning glory. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Hit the subscription button right down here. Um, and of course, the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we come online, either with the service or with uh, the morning glory or, you know, the sermons, the many sermons that come to you. Uh, almost each and every single day from this channel. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. I pray that, you know, this will be a great day as we get to seek the face of the Lord together, as we get to, uh, you know, uh, call upon the name of the Lord this morning. God is surely going to answer our prayers and God is going to do great things in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's... Uh, you know, uh, begin by a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you and we bless you today. Thank you, God, because you are good and you are faithful. Lord, I thank you because you are the Lord who makes a way. You are the Lord, Lord God of glory, who opens doors for us. We thank you today, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing uh, even this morning. We glorify you for keeping us safe, for granting us peace as a nation. And Lord God of glory, for the many things, for the many battles that you have won, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that as we begin this uh, morning glory, Father, we shall operate under open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, may you be glorified, may you be lifted high. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist says in the book of Psalms 118 from verses 28, he says that um, you are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you or I will exalt you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. In verses uh, 29 it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good and his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for his good and his steadfast love endures forever. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The scripture says, You are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is our God. The God, our Father, we have the, who is in heaven, he is our God. He is the God who reigns forevermore. And he is our Father. And we give thanks to him. The psalmist says, you know, to you, he, he says that you are my God. He affirms that God is his God. Yahweh is his God. And, you know, he says, I will give thanks to you because you are my God. I will extol you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The God of heaven and earth is our God this morning. And that is our declaration. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, there are times when the enemy surround us. There are times that, you know, we are surrounded on every side. But because God is our God, he is our refuge. He is our, you know, uh, source of strength, even in times of trouble. He is the one who rescues us. He's the one who saves us. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And actually, if you read, you know, uh, three verses before what the psalmist says, uh, you know, in the verse that we read, he says that save us, O Lord, we pray, O Lord, we pray, give us success. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The God that we serve is the God who saves us. He is the God that when we pray and he gives us success. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we begin this morning glory today i want you to begin by telling god god i love you because you are my god i give thanks to you because you are my god i do not have any other god but you i do not have anyone else to look up to praise the lord jesus not even my children not even my parents not even my uh, you know colleagues not even my boss can be able to take your place you are my god not even my spouse can take your place you are my god and you are my king and i will give thanks to you not even you know uh, the new leaders in this nation can take your place you are our god in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and, you know, make this prayer this morning. Father, Lord, God of glory, 
I join together with the psalmist this morning as I declare that, Father, you are my God. Yahweh, you are my God. Lord, I exalt you in my life. And God, I declare that you are my God. I give you thanks because you are my God. I know, Lord, there are many gods in this world. There are many idols that can take your place in this world. But my Father and my Lord, this morning, I declare that you are my God and I denounce every idol. I denounce everything that may take your place this morning and I declare that my Father and my Lord, you alone are my God. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen. And because we have said that God is our God, I want you to think about this God. The God that we serve who is our God is the God who is actually full of steadfast love which endures forever. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves us continuously forever. Even in our fallen nature, even in our sinfulness, you know, the, our, the, the heart of human, uh, you know, as human beings is desperately wicked always. But God, because he is our God and he loves us, you know, he still loves us and his love endures forever. The Bible says that uh, what manner, behold what manner of love this is, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Meaning that when you were still living in your sinfulness, Christ died for you because our God is a loving God and his steadfast love endures forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to go ahead and thank God. Number one, for his steadfast love which endures forever. And secondly, for all the benefits that he has loaded unto you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. This God, I know he has loaded you with many benefits. He has given you life. He has given you good health. You may be sick at the moment, but thank God you are alive. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You may be, you know, having friends who are going through, a, you may be going through a rough time. You are having friends and family members who are are going through a rough time but thank god you are well praise the lord jesus christ you may be you know um not having um you know, the job that you desire or all the money that you need, but thank God at least you're able to afford food, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and you're able to get uh, something. You may have been trusting God for a job for a long time and maybe at the moment as you are praying this morning, you don't have a job, you don't have money with you, you don't know how to meet, you know, uh, your daily expenses, but at least thank God that you are alive and that his steadfast love endures forever in your life. Go ahead and thank the Lord because he is a faithful God and his steadfast love endures forever. Lord God of glory, this morning I give you glory and the honor as I declare God of glory still that you are my God. Lord, I thank you because you are good. Lord, I thank you because you are good. In as much as circumstances may not be good around us, Father, you still remain to be good. In as much as things may be difficult, Lord God, in our surrounding, Lord, you are good. The economy may not be good, but Father, you are good and I give thanks to you. Lord, I give thanks to you because your love endures forever. Your steadfast love endures forever. Even Lord, during times when we have ran away from you, when we have rebelled against you, when God, I have disobeyed you, God, you are still good and your love endures forever. Lord, I thank you because Lord, despite of what we may be facing, despite of the sicknesses people could be struggling with, you still remain to be good and your mercies endures forever. You remain to be good and your mercies endures forever. And this morning, my Father, Lord God of glory, we choose to give you thanks for all the benefits that you have loaded unto us, for the good health, for your provision, for the jobs that you have given us, for the businesses that you have given us, for the ministries that you have given us. Lord, Lord God, for the favor that you have granted us, for the ways that you have made for us, we thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. We thank you even for your mercies, which are new each and every single morning. And we know that even this morning, God, your mercies are new. Thank you, Jesus, for dying in the cross to set us free. Thank you, God, because you love us and you are faithful. And there is no one else like you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen. And amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Psalms 118 from verse 17. This is a very powerful declaration that I want us to make this morning, even as we proceed with our morning glory today. 
Psalms 118 from verse 17. The Bible says, I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. It's a simple yet very powerful scripture there. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to make this your prayer today. That you will not die, but you will live to recount the deeds of the Lord. You will live to fulfill the purposes of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall not die prematurely. Praise the Lord. Until you get you know, uh, to a good old age and you rest. But you will live to recount the deeds of the Lord. No matter what the enemy plans against you, you will not die. And as you make this prayer, pray this prayer even over your children, over your, uh, you know, your spouse, over your, your parents. Pray this prayer over them. Pray this prayer over the leaders that God has given unto us in the political space and even in, you know, in in our church, we pray that we shall not die, but we shall live to recount the deeds of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead and make this declaration this morning. My Father and my Lord, I come to you this morning, Lord, based, Lord God, on the authority of your word that says in Psalms 118 from verse 17, that I shall not die, but I shall live to recount the deeds of the Lord. And this morning, God of glory, despite of the plans the enemy could be having against my life, despite, Lord God of glory, of all the strategies, Lord, and all the schemes of the enemy, I declare by your, the authority of your word that, Father, I shall not die but I shall live to recount the deeds of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that none of us connected to this team this morning will die. None of them will die, but they shall live to recount your deeds in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my parents shall not die, but they shall live to recount your deeds. Lord, my siblings shall not die, but they shall live to recount, Lord God of glory, your deeds. Lord God, our Children will not die, but they shall live to recount your deeds in Jesus' mighty name. God, the members of Praise Chapel family shall not die, God, but they shall live to declare, Lord God of glory, your deeds from generation to generation. The leaders that you have given us, Lord, as a church shall not die, but they shall live in Jesus' mighty name. God of glory, even the leaders that you have given us as a nation, they shall not not die, but you shall protect them, Lord, and they shall live to recount your deeds in Jesus' mighty name. God of glory, we cancel any spirit of premature death that, Lord God, comes to rob people of their lives, Lord, in form of accidents and diseases, God of glory. And we declare today, Father, we declare today, King of glory, that they shall not die, but God, they shall relive to recount your deeds in the mighty name of Jesus. God of glory, we pray that, Lord, you will set up a hedge around us in Jesus' mighty name. And surround us, Lord God of glory, with your armies, such that no arrow of the enemy shall befall us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Still in the book of Psalms 118 from verses 25, the Bible says, Save us, we pray, O Lord. We pray. O oh Lord, give us success. Save us, we pray, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we pray, give us success. This morning, I want us to pray this prayer. Pray that God will save you from whichever struggle you could be having, whichever, you know, trouble you could be in at this particular time. Pray that God will save you and that he will grant you success in each and everything that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. Make this your prayer today that God will save you and that he will grant you success in Jesus' mighty name. And our God is faithful to answer prayers when we call unto him. My Father and my Lord, this morning I bless you and I give you glory and the honor. Lord, I pray that you may save us today.
Lord, we pray, O oh Lord God of glory, that you may save us from whichever attack the enemy may be having against us. Save, Lord, our business. Save our children. Some of them, God of glory, have rebelled, Lord, against you and against even their parents. We pray that you may save them. Save us from any shame that the enemy could be planning to, pl to bring, Lord God of glory, towards us in Jesus' mighty name. Save us, O oh Lord God of glory from any trouble that we could be facing in the mighty name of Jesus and we pray everlasting Father we pray O oh God of glory that you may give us success today in Jesus mighty name give us success today Father in Jesus mighty name save us Lord and give us success in the mighty name of Jesus I pray Father that you may save us today and give us success Lord we pray that you may give us success in the work of our hands give your people success in whatever they do today Lord as they go to their industries as they go to their companies give them success as they apply for jobs give them success Lord God of glory as they even begin these businesses may you give them success Lord as they serve you give them success today in Jesus mighty name God I pray that this being the day that you have made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, today we will live to rejoice and to be glad in it because, Lord, you are giving us success in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the one who made lights, Lord. We pray that may your light shine before us and that, God, we will have your favor and your grace today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. God is faithful and is able to give us success when we trust in him is the God who is able to save us. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the God who is able to save us and to give us the success that we need in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms, uh, Isaiah chapter 45 from verses 8. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Shower all heavens from above and let the clouds rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation and righteousness may bear fruit let the earth cause them both to sprout i the lord have created it praise the lord jesus this is a powerful scripture here it says shower all heavens from above and let the clouds rain down righteousness let the earth open that salvation and righteousness may be may bear fruit let the earth cause them to both to sprout i the lord have created it praise the lord jesus christ Shower all heavens from above. Let the clouds, reading that again, rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation and righteousness may bear fruit. Let the earth cause them both to sprout. I, the Lord, have created it. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is the one who created the heavens and the earth. And God is saying here that, you know, shower all heavens from above and let the clouds rain down righteousness. This is the prayer we are going to make that the heavens will actually shower, praise the Lord Jesus, that God will cause the heavens to shower and, you know, to let the clouds rain down righteousness, that God will open up the earth and that salvation and righteousness may bear fruit and that God is going to cause salvation and righteousness to rest, you know, in our land, in our nation, in our families, because God is going to open up the doors and the windows of heaven and pour out righteousness. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray this, this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord God of glory, we pray. Lord God, that you will cause us, Lord, as your people, to see the doors and the windows of heaven, Lord God, being opened in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you may drip down all heavens from above and let the clouds pour out righteousness in our lives, Lord, in our land, in our nation. May the clouds pour out righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the earth, God of glory, be open. Let the earth be open open up God and we pray that Lord God you will cause salvation to bear fruit in this land in this city Lord and in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Lord God that righteousness will spring up Lord with it 
in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus we pray that God every blocked door God of glory will be open today in this month of open heavens Lord may every door that has been blocked be opened Lord in our lives in Jesus mighty name we pray God and we give you glory because we know that you are opening the floodgates of heaven and you are pouring out your blessings upon us in Jesus mighty name father we pray believing and trusting amen and amen and amen may the lord open the doors of heaven praise the lord jesus christ and pour out righteousness because the scripture tells us that righteousness exalts a nation but sin brings reproach to any man psalms 144 i'm going to read quite a lengthy uh, you know reading here then lead us to pray just uh, about five verses. Psalms 144 from verses 5. The Bible says, Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash for the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and drop them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters and from the hand of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is a, a, is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-stringed harp, I will play to you. Who gives victory to kings, who rescues David, his servant, uh, from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies, and whose uh, right hand is the right hand of falsehood. Verses 12 says, May our, uh, we, let, let's stop. We are going to stop there. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is the prayer that we are praying that God will open the heavens. It says in verses 5, Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, that they may spoke. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We could be persecuted in one way or another. We are being attacked in one way or another. But we are going to make this prayer together to our God. Our God who answers prayers. That this God will open up the doors and the windows of heaven and come down. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. That he will reach down from heaven and save us from those who try to attack us. Save us from those who are persecuting us. So that we will praise his name each and every single day because he's going to win our battles. Go ahead and pray. Lord, your word says in Psalms 144 from verses 5, Bow your heavens. Oh Lord, and come down, touch the mountains so that they smoke. Our heavenly Father, we ask you that you will open up your heavens and come down. We pray, God, that you will reach down from heaven and save us from those who try to persecute us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will bow at the heavens and reach out down from heaven, Lord, and save us from each and every one, Lord, could, who could be trying to persecute us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone, Lord, who is trying to attack us, we pray that, Lord, you will show up, God of glory, from the heaven. And, Father, save us. Save your people from the attacks of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we will praise your name. And we will lift you up, Lord, and sing a new song to you. Because, Lord God, we know that you are the one who wins, our Lord God of glory, our battles. You are the one who helps us to win our battles. And we pray pray God of glory that your will for us in heaven will align Lord to our lives here on earth Lord because you are opening up the heavens your will in heaven will align with Lord God of glory our life here on earth in Jesus mighty name Father we pray believing and trusting amen and amen and amen and amen still going on the book of Acts chapter 5 from verses 19 Acts 5.19 And in the book of Acts chapter 5 we see an interesting story here. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Verses 19 This is the inst instance where actually the apostles had been arrested. Praise the Lord Jesus. In verse 17 the Bible says but when the high priest but the high priest rose up and all who are with him, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested 
the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the work of this life, of this life. Praise the Lord Jesus. All the words of this life. This is, you know, a very powerful experience. The apostles had been arrested by the high priest together with the company of the Sadducees. And, you know, uh, they put them in a public prison. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Bible says in verses 19 that during the night God opened up the heavens and sent his angel, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and opened the prison and actually, you know, the prison doors and brought them out and told them to go and, you know, into the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a powerful miracle which happened here where God sent his angels from heaven and he came with divine power. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he's still a God who is able to do so, to send for this divine power to save us. And you could be held up in some gates of prisons in life. It could be that you are held up in gates of the prison of death such that you are struggling with a lot of debt in your life. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to pray today that God will open up the heavens and send his angels, praise the Lord, to come and open up the gates of those prisons we are in. It could be the prison of sickness and disease. You have been caged there for a long time. And, you know, you have struggled for a long time, but God is able to send his divine power in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and claim this uh, victim. This divine, you know, um, intervention, this divine power that is able to break the walls of the prisons and to take you out of where people have placed you in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I thank you for who you are and I thank you, Lord, for your divine power. My Father, Lord God, this morning, I pray that just as you sent your angel, Lord, in the book of Acts chapter 5 from verses 19 to open up the gates of the prison, Lord, may you open up doors in my life in Jesus mighty name the same way you sent your angel to open up the doors of prison I pray father open up my life open up the doors of my life in Jesus mighty name open up the doors of the lives of your people in Jesus mighty name I declare open doors this morning in Jesus mighty name I pray, God of glory, that you open up the heavens so that we can receive our breakthrough here on earth. Lord, open up our first heaven. Open up our second heaven. Open up the third heaven that we can receive breakthrough, Lord, in this life in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, I declare open heavens in the lives of your people. That God of glory, just as the angel opened up the heavens, Lord, on this particular day, oh, and Lord God of glory, you open the heavens and you send your angel to open the prison doors. My Father and my Lord, may those doors be unlocked today. Lord, doors, Lord God, for freedom from death, may they be unlocked today. Doors for, for freedom, Lord God, from the prison of lack, may they be unlocked, God. Those who have been locked up in the prison, Lord God of glory, of sicknesses and diseases, my Father and my Lord, may those doors be opened today. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord God of glory, thank you because your people are receiving their breakthrough today. And I thank you, Lord, because you have opened up doors for us. Lord God, and your heaven is raining down here. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. And amen. The book of John, chapter 10. Book of John, chapter 10. From verse 7. The Bible says, this is Jesus speaking. So Jesus said to them again, truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. Praise the Lord Jesus. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. Uh, I'll just stop at verse 7. Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the door. And for us who are the followers of Jesus Christ, the sheep, all we can do is to trust God and to trust Jesus. 
because it is only through Jesus that we can be able to have open doors. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. It's only by us placing our trust in Jesus because he is the door to the Father. He is the way to the Father. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we need to pray that God will guide us to this open door, that we will trust in Jesus. And as we follow Jesus, as we trust Jesus, Jesus is going to lead us to open doors. He will open doors for us, doors of opportunities uh, for ministry, for work, for uh, business, for relationships. God will lead us to those opportunities and he will open those doors because he is actually the door. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he not only opens doors, but he is the door. He said it himself that I am the door of the sheep. And if you want to have open doors, then you need to have Jesus in your life. I want you to pray this prayer based on this life scripture. That you will be able, God will help you to be able to trust in Jesus who is the door. And that Jesus will lead you to open doors in life in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord God, I look to you. God of glory, I look to you. Your word says that Jesus, you are the door of the sheep. And Father, Lord God, today, this morning, we choose to place our trust in you because you will open doors for us that are closed. You are our door. You are the door to the sheep. And you are the one who is able to open doors. We pray, God, for your divine guidance, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God of glory, that you will lead us to these doors that need to open and that you will open them for us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray that God of glory, you will help us to trust in you, that you are the way, because you are the way, you are the truth and you are life. Help us to trust in you, God, and to live for you and to honor you. And that God, we will remain God of glory uh, on course and that we will never be stagnant because Jesus, you are the door of the ship. Thank you because you are our eternal door. And when we look unto you and we trust in you, Jesus will never be put to shame. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that you do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. The book of Psalms 84. Psalms 84, verses 10. This is what the word of God says. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God says, A day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God uh, than dwell in the tents of wickedness. We are praying that God will give us access to his special, you know, uh, spiritual realm that we will spend our time with God because the word of God tells us that a day in the house of God or in the courts of God is better than a thousand elsewhere. And our prayer today is that God will help us to stay close to him, that, you know, he will give us divine access to his spiritual realm that the doors of heaven will be open to us so that any time we call upon him, he will hear us. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, you know, we go ahead and declare that we rather stand, Lord, and, you know, stay in the courts of God, at the gates of God, waiting on him, calling upon him, than to, than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. And we pray that God will close all doors of evil over our lives, and open those doors of heaven, or uh, you know, in alignment with His will, in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord God of glory, as the psalmist says, Lord, we are in agreement that Lord, a day in your courts is far much better than a thousand elsewhere. And God of glory, that we would rather be doorkeepers in the house of our God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Everlasting Father, we pray this morning, we call upon you, Abba Father, that Lord God of glory, you may give us 
divine access to your spiritual realm lord give us access to you lord god of glory your spiritual realm divine access lord god is what we ask for today in the mighty name of jesus divine access is what we ask for today in jesus mighty name and father lord we pray today lord let the doors of heaven be open in jesus mighty name let the doors of heaven lord be open this morning in the mighty name of jesus let the doors of heaven be open in jesus mighty name father lord god we pray that God, you will cause us to stand, Lord God, at the threshold of your house, Lord, and your Lord God's spiritual realm in the mighty name of Jesus, rather than go and dwell in the tents of wickedness. Lord God, we desire to dwell in your tents forever. This is our desire, God, that we will dwell in your tents forever, God of glory, and not dwell in the tents of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that God, you will close all doors of evil over our lives. Father, close all doors, Lord, of, of access to evil over my life in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, close the doors, Lord God, of access, Lord God, of evil over the lives of your people. In Jesus' mighty name, whatever loopholes, whatever openings, Lord God of glory, that your people could be having, Lord God, to do evil. My Father, may you close those doors over their lives. And Father, Lord God of glory, open the doors of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the doors of heaven, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Open the doors of heaven, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Open the doors of heaven and close all doors of evil in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we believe and we trust that you will do this in alignment with your will. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Uh, I would like us to read Revelation 3 from verses to eight, 7 to 8. Revelation 3 from verses 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 3, from verses 7 to 8. The Bible says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut, I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word, and I have not denied my name. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. God is saying that, you know, uh, I have set an open door before you. He's the one who opens and no one will shut. He's the one who shuts and no one will open. And he says, I know your works to this church of Philadelphia. I have kept an open door before you which no one is able to shut i know that you have but little power and yet you have kept my word and i've not denied my name i want us to pray the church of philadelphia was one of the churches you know i think actually the only church that was found to be without stains praise the lord jesus christ when the angel was addressing these churches, the seven churches in Asia at this particular time. And he tells the church in Philadelphia that, you know, I know your works and I have set before you an open door that no one will be able to shut. Today I want us to pray that God will keep us holy and true. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So that we will be able to have access to these open doors in our lives. God who is righteous and true will keep us holy and true like him so that we will be able to have access to these open doors in our lives. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's able to open doors that no one can be able to shut. He can be able to shut doors and no one will be able to open. And this is actually, especially if we are holy as he is holy, if we are true and righteous as he is, Let's go ahead and pray this prayer, even as we are almost bringing this to an end. Our righteous God, we know that you are a holy God and no one can be as holy as you are. 
This morning we pray, God, that you may keep us holy and true like you have been holy and true to us. Keep us, Lord God of glory. Lord, you are. You have said in your word that you have set before us an open door. And Father, Lord, we declare this morning that you have opened, Lord God, doors in our lives and no one will shut. And that God of glory, the doors that you have closed, no one will be able to open. My Father, we declare your will over our lives this morning. King of glory, we declare your will over our lives today. And we pray, God of glory, and we thank you for the doors that you have opened. We thank you, Lord, for the open doors that you have placed before us. We pray, God of glory, that no one will be able to shut them in Jesus' mighty name. God, we pray that God of glory, as you know, God of glory, that we have little power. You will enable us, Father, to remain true and holy so that God of glory, we will have access to the doors you have set open before us in the mighty name of Jesus. It is you who has the ultimate authority, O oh God of glory. And Father, Lord God of glory, as we keep your word. We pray that may these doors which you have opened be opened forever in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen. The last verse we are going to read is in the book of Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7. Praise the Lord Jesus to 8. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this particular time, so you're still praying that God will open up the heavens and answer our prayers. The scripture tells us that everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. This morning, you could be trusting God to heal you, you could be trusting God to meet your needs, you could be trusting God to bless your, the work of your hands. As a nation, this morning, uh, we know what is happening. In our country, we are having a new leadership, having a new, you know, president being sworn in together with the deputy president. Today we are praying and we are asking that righteousness will reign in this nation, that God will bring healing upon our land, praise the Lord Jesus, that God will meet our needs according to his riches in glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and actually pray. And seek the face of the Lord. And pray that God will actually show himself faithful in Jesus' mighty name. Ask whatever you, it is that you need to ask from the Lord. God is faithful to answer your prayers. God is faithful to meet you at your point of need this morning. My Father and my Lord, your word tells us that we ask and we shall receive. That we knock and the door will be opened. That we seek and we shall find. My Father, Lord God, I thank you because you always see us and you see our needs. And your word tells us that if we ask, Lord, it will be given unto us. And that when we seek, Lord, we will find. And that, Father, Lord God, when we, Lord God of glory, uh, knock the door will be open for us. Lord God of glory, this morning we believe in you as our God who is able to answer prayers. And Lord, we speak life over the lives of your people. We speak favor over the lives of, their peop of your people. Lord, we speak breakthrough over the lives of your people. I ask, Lord, that you may heal each and every person who needs healing. That God of glory, you may deliver each and every person who needs deliverance. That Lord, you may grant favor each and every person and Lord who needs a job, who needs Lord God of glory favor in their business or their workplace. That God of glory, you will provide for each and every person who is trusting you for provision that you will make ways, Lord, and open doors that Lord God of glory, no one can be able to shut in Jesus' mighty name. My Father, Lord God, I pray that you may open these doors. I pray, King of glory, that you may open these doors in Jesus' mighty name. Open these doors, everlasting Father, that God of glory, we will be able to receive from you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. Thank you, God, because you have answered, Lord, the prayers of your people. We commit even our nation today, God of glory. Lord, as the new president, Lord, is taking power, is taking over. Lord, God of glory, 
we ask of you that righteousness will reign and rule in this nation. That each and every elected leader, God, will serve your purposes in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that as this government serves, Lord, they will accomplish your purposes in Jesus' mighty name. And that God of glory, each and every person that has been appointed to any leadership position will dispense their duties, Lord God of glory. Lord God, and serve your purposes in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we declare an end, Lord, to this vice of corruption in this nation. We ask you that you may cleanse our land, that you may heal our land in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. And amen. I believe that God is faithful and he has answered our prayers. He has heard us and he's doing something new this morning. Amen and amen and amen. Uh, as we leave uh, or before we leave, I want to invite us to give our offering, our tithe and every other form of giving that you'd want to give. It could be your tithe, your offering or you're honoring a commitment that you made to give to the Lord. The giving details are on the screen. And God is going to bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to bless you as you do so. He's going to open the floodgates of heaven and pour out blessings upon you until you'll have no more room. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and give. The pay bill number is 842050. 842050. Of course, in the account section, indicate whether you are giving your tithe, your offering, or any other form of commitment that you are giving. And God is going to bless you indeed. Let's pray even as we bring this to a close. Lord God, I thank you because you are opening up heavens, Lord God of glory, and you are doing something new in our lives. I thank you for blessing your people with resources, with money, Lord, with talents, with gifts, with jobs, with businesses, Lord, and opportunities. I pray that you will bless them each and every single day. Thank you for them that have given. I speak a blessing over their lives, and I pray, Father, that God, you may, Lord, cause them to experience, Lord, increase in Jesus' mighty name. Rebuke the devourer and open the floodgates of heaven, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, because they will operate under open heaven. And that God, you will multiply their bread for food and their seed for sowing in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Have a great day today. Uh, we'll see you again uh, when... We come back online. Morning Glory comes to you every morning from 5 to 6 a.m. on our YouTube channel and, of course, on Praise Radio. At the same time, uh, remember, our midweek service starts at 5.30 p.m. every Wednesday. And, of course, on Sunday, we have our first service from 7.30 a.m. and the second service from 9.30. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Have a great day. May the favor of the Lord be upon you. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.